Greeting friends of Dynalite. I'm Adam Moritz, a Dynalite system expert based in the United States. After I train people on Dynalite commissioning, they often come back to me and ask, but Adam, how would you configure a sensor? I get it. Dynalite sensors are very flexible. And sometimes that flexibility can be more overwhelming than a Starbucks menu. So today, I'm going to walk you through my favorite sensor configurations. Let's start with the basics, a simple vacancy sensor. This is something you might find in a cell office where you need a switch to manually turn the lights on. You can see it's very simple. Only one preset is active, preset one. If the lights are on and we don't see any motion, we turn them off. Really simple. Next up would be a simple occupancy sensor, like something you'd find in a closet that doesn't have a switch. You can see here that we still turn the lights off in preset one, but now we've added a few more rows to the motion table. If we see motion in preset four, the off preset, we turn the lights on. If the room has a switch in it, we'll need to put an action delay so that you have time to leave the room after turning the lights off. Now, let's step it up a notch and really leverage all that flexibility. Sometimes, in a classroom or a meeting room, people want that magic of an occupancy sensor automatically turning the lights on, but they also want to be able to sit in the dark for a presentation. That's where a manual off comes in. First, we have to set up the manual off in the preset table. You can see here I've created a fifth preset called manual off where the lights are off. Then we configure our UI to send preset 5 instead of preset 4 for the off button, which then times out to preset 4. That way, people can turn the lights off and sit in the dark. Lastly, we add our manual off to the motion table. We no longer need the action delay because now the UI is sending us to preset five, which then times out to preset four. Since we're never manually sending the lights to preset four, we don't have to worry about them turning on immediately. I personally like to have a shorter timeout on preset five so that if someone does hit the button on the way out of the room, it doesn't take the full 20 minutes to refresh the occupancy. Next up, grace periods. We've all been there when a sensor times out on us during a long, boring conference call, or maybe this video. To counter that, our next upgrade will be to add grace periods. This makes the lights dim down briefly before turning all the way off to give people a warning the sensor's about to time out. First, we add grace period presets that are dimmer than the main presets. Then, in the motion table of our sensor, we configure our main presets to time out to our grace period presets, which have a shorter timeout than the main presets. Each grace period preset bounces back to its main preset if it sees motion and times out to automatic off preset four if not. And there you have it, my go-to sensor configuration. High, medium, low, and off with grace periods. And just to save a little more energy, I'll auto on to medium, which is code in many places these days. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know in the comments and we'll keep making more of them.